Hey Math 31, I had a question on section 3.3, .3, number 21, so I wanted to take a look at it. The direction said use the graph of each function to estimate the intervals on which the function is increasing or decreasing. So I'm just going to use my little highlighter here. As we move left to right along the x-axis, so I'm going to head this way, I want to take a look at how my function's behaving. So you see I have this, this left arrow here. I'm going to start here, and you can see that my y values are getting larger because as I move left to right, that function went up. So we would say that was an interval where my function was increasing. And the other interval where my function is increasing is right here. All right, so we see those are the two intervals where my function is getting larger as I move left to right, or I could say the y values are getting larger as I move left to right. And when it comes to figuring out the intervals on which your function is increasing, we're interested in the x values. So let me change colors here so we can denote this. So you can see my x value here, I'm starting basically at negative infinity because that arrow is going left forever, right? And we always know that those forevers turns into either infinities or negative infinities. It's negative infinity in this case. And if we look here, right, that's where that that function stops increasing. This is the ordered pair 1, 0, but I'm only interested in the x-coordinate. So when we talk about where my function is increasing, my first interval is from negative infinity to 1. All right, and then when I look at my next interval, we can see that I've got this vertical asymptote here, and that's at x. Oops, let me change that, not use a highlighter. Let's at x equaling negative 3, not negative 3, excuse me, positive 3. And then you can see I stop increasing when I get to this ordered pair, which is 4, 0. But again, because I'm talking about intervals of increasing, I only care about the x coordinates. That's why you see me saying that this function is increasing from 3 to 4. Now on the flip of that, let me change colors here. Let's go to like a green. You can see from this point down, my function becomes decreasing, and then my function is decreasing here as well. Well, again, we're going to be interested in x-coordinates. So when I take a look at that, again, I'm going to use the x-value of 1, and I'm going to go to an x-value of 3 for this first interval of decreasing. That's why you see that there. And then again, I start with an x-value of 4, and this one is going right forever. And that's going to translate into a positive infinity, which is why you see that second interval of decreasing. All right, there's number 21. Thanks so much. Bye.